here we are, but everybody in the Rocket League semifinals. Once again, I'm Mathias, also known as Mathias, joined by Daniil Betterson McGee. And we've been here seeing so much good Rocket League action, but now we're closing in on the end. Absolutely. We are getting closer and closer to the ever coveted championship match. I'm sure that these teams are really feeling excited, really feeling the heat as they walk on the stage and get ready to get the action started here today. We are once again in the winners semifinals. This is a single elimination um, bracket. So realistically, there are no winners, only competitors, warriors entering the stage as we hit the field in this game one. We have favorite Blazers versus the Christ the King Secondary School BMX Bikey Boys. And we're going to get started off already with a very aggressive lead coming out from the Bikey Boys as they try to maintain a strong presence in front of the Bay Ridge Blazers net. Yeah, they are showing an amazing performance so far. Both teams rocking around their arena here. But it looks like Bay Ridge Blazers going in for a dunk there, but a huge defense from BMX Bikey Boys. Yeah, next Spike Boys seem to be trying to get control, taking it over back to the Bay Ridge Blazer side of the field. But with Happy Cappy taking back to the corner, we have that shot going to the net. It's gonna get saved basically immediately. Doesn't even really count as a shot at that point, as now they're trying to take it back into control. The Bay Ridge Blazers are trying to get that towards the goal, but it's gonna go right over the top and just barely miss out. That's gonna be a shot towards the net once again. More of a centering coming out from the Bay Ridge Blazers, trying to get it ready for their team. A shot coming out and then a follow-up, but it's just gonna get intercepted and shut out completely by the Viking Boys as they get ready to mount an offense of their own. Yeah, this is a big stalemate happening here. Just back and forth, neither team finding the perfect opening as both defenses are absolutely stalwart. But it looks like Bay Ridge Blazers looking for a small gap in the armor, can't quite close it out, but they're still going to continue to hammer on through. This is BMX Bikey Boys. They're going to have to be very careful here as Bay Ridge is closing in shot after shot on their goal. But it looks like the Bikey Boys are going to take control of the ball and start taking some shots of their own. Quite the opposite of the last years. We're seeing a lot less goals, more so. It's just a bit of a stalemate. These teams are a lot closer. Again, it makes sense as we're heading into the winner's semifinals. Of course, we're going to get some closer competition as we get closer and closer to that championship match. But right now, the Bay Ridge Blazers are doing their best to make sure that the like, boys have a hard time establishing a defense. But as we're seeing a traded out demo, both teams are going to try to get an opportunity to capitalize off of that, but it's going to be the Bikey Boys making the most of the opportunity. They find a shot, they find a goal coming right out, and they're going to go up 1-0 against the Bayridge Blazers. 1-0, getting the first point in the game, first point in the series. The MX Bikey Boys looking very good. We're only halfway through this match, or just about. Bayridge, Bayridge Blazers still have a lot of time to close this gap. They're only one point away from even the odds. The MX Bike Boys would like to have a little bit more insurance in that, so they're going to keep on going for these. But that is crazy. Another double demo coming out from both sides, and the Bay Ridge Blazers using that time to close the gap. Close it indeed. I really do have a lot of faith that this team will be able to try to close things out. Uh, we saw the team play a little bit earlier in the tournament today, and they've demonstrated that they have, are more than capable of sealing away some victories and establishing a strong, dominant lead. With two minutes remaining, that's ample time for them to make something work here, but that won't be too easy if the Blackie Boys keep up this pressure. First time seeing them on the stream today, and they are for sure making a strong first impression with a second goal in this game one against the uh, Bay Ridge Blazers. And that Bay Ridge Blazers now having to close this gap by two points. The Bikey Boys doing a very good job. And now with another demo, they're going to open this up even more. They are just so good at stalling this one out. Well managing to find those key small openings. And now look at that. They're going for another attack, but it's going to be met in midair by the Blazers. And once again, they're going to continue to try and be an unrelenting force on this battlefield. There's a demo. There might be an opening for the Blazers off the top, going for another double bounce, and they managed to sink it, going two to one, closing this gap to only a one-point lead. 
very well done by this team. You can already see it on their faces, but they are starting to feel the pressure of these games getting closer and closer, but they are still doing their best to make sure they don't let that affect their gameplay. They are sticking close, they're sticking strong, and they're making sure that as they act, they act as a unit. No lone wolves out on this field, and they're going to be trying their best to make sure they can establish some presence in this game one. Once again, as I've been saying throughout the day, even if you don't win in this game, you want to walk away feeling like you can win the next, and that will all come down to how you perform as this one gets closer and closer to the end, and getting at least one goal in this game will help you at least feel a lot more comfortable going to the next. One minute remaining, Baywish Blazers still have the time to get another goal going, but with the Viking boys playing as they are now, I think it will be quite difficult for them to find one, as they are already trying to line up a third goal for themselves over on the Viking boys side of things, but Baywish Blazers intercepting the shots and intercepting all the control that is trying to come out from them. They're going to steal that away while we're trying to clear. That's going to be a third goal for the Bikey Boys. Excellently done. 37 seconds remaining. The Babers and Blazers, do you have what it takes? That is the question you have to ask yourself. And they certainly do have what it takes to even this odds, but do they have the time to perform with only 35 seconds and counting remaining? The pressure is on. It's not impossible, but it's going to be a very difficult gap to close. And now with time taking favors, Blazers looking for an open. They just might as well see if they're going to be forced to go on the defense if the Bike Boys keep on the pressure. They have one back in the net, but that might not be the case as the Bay Ridge Blazers almost have a goal on their hands. This is straight away. They're going to go for it. They almost get it, but the defense, the save from one of the BMX Bikey Boys players is absolutely massive. And now with the defense from the Bikey Boys, the Bay Ridge Blazers, not going to be able to save this one, but the Bikey Boys are going to take this first game of the series. Game one looking good. They made it look comfortable. I can tell that they're really feeling themselves so far. They look like naturals right there on the stage. It's I'm not sure if it's the first time on our stage today but it definitely doesn't feel like it the way that they're playing so far it feels like they're right at home with this gameplay but of course the Bay Ridge Blazers we've seen like I said before how dominant they can be in game but they just need to find their footing in this next game Exactly. It is not an impossible task for Baywitch to bring this one back, but the Bikey Boys, we this is the first time we've ever seen them play. So if we're going to extrapolate off just the info we have from them, they looked very, very good. Very defensive gameplay on both sides, but I think Bay Ridge really performs in those attacking base games, but they're just unable to gain their footing there. But nonetheless, we're going to get right back in the swing of things. It looks like the Bay Ridge is going to be the first to start the attack. And hopefully they'll be able to execute it strong, but a nice save is going to come out from Bay Ridge trying to bring things right back over to the blue side. They're going to succeed in that, but it's not going to be there for long. Actually, they intercept the clear, and this is going to be a good opportunity to strike. If they can get a center and have a teammate follow up and get a nice shot in, this could spell the doom for the Bikey Boys. There's the shot. Trying to cross it over. Can you win the 50? Yes, you can, but someone is there to stop it out. Bikey Boys defense is looking so solid, and they turn it into a shot themselves. This is the importance of making sure that your offense doesn't sacrifice too much of your defense. And if it is, you got to make sure you're definitely getting those goals. Otherwise, opportunities like this will sneak up for the enemy team and they will be sure to take them. We mentioned earlier, Rocket League is all about opportunities. And Bikey Boys and Low went to strike from those opportunities up here. I mean, look at that. They found something out of nothing and explode into a two point lead within the first minute. Very well done. Two points already on the clock with only, but not even less than a minute underway. Bikey Boys are looking to comfortably take game two. Of course, that's how they'd like to see things. Bayridge Blazers probably sees it as something else entirely. This is just an opportunity for them to really show what they're made of. If they can come back from this deficit, it would do great things, not only for the reputation as players, but just to show that they have what it takes to be competitive Rocket League 
players. But if they're going to make sure they can get this one going, they can try their best to keep it over on Blue's side. A shot's going to come out, bounce back over, and hopefully they can try to maintain this pressure. Right now, they're trying to stuff it down inside the goal line, but not quite. It's getting there. It's getting close. They just need to make sure they coordinate their assault and make sure it goes the way they need it to. That's going to be a nice pop up, a nice center, but no follow-up shot's going to come out. Over back to the corner, a center. It's going to come through. It's going to get cleared. Bayridge Blazers, they're going to try to intercept that one, but no way, no how. Blakey Boys turns that once again from a clear to a goal, and it seems that Bayridge Blazers' defense is really suffering so far. And unfortunately, they're unable to find some footy as the bikey boys just know how to play through the rules of engagement. They know how to get them into the places where they need them, sacrifice their defense, lure them in with a false weakening defense. They know exactly when to strike. Bikey boys, 3-0 lead so far. Three minutes remaining. It's not an impossible gap to close for Bay Ridge, but it's going to be a very dang tough one to close. If we look back over, we're going to see the bikey boys playing the defense once again, stalling it up. They see the opening. They're going to go for a strike oh. the pass back and forth and they manage to sink it once again we're gonna see a four point lead four point lead and it's looking tough so far the bikey boys are just doing such a great job of controlling this field almost halfway through this game two situation and Bayridge Blazers has not been able to put a point on the board. That just goes to show how well the Bikey Boys are playing because even though the Bayridge Blazers are playing very well, looking almost in peak condition, the Bikey Boys are doing even better. That just goes to show what quality, what level of team we have here today. So far, it's still anybody's matchup over in terms of controlling the ball, but another one stolen away off a of breakaway. In fact, mostly just a clear or a redirection. That's going to end up going in the net since no one was able to save that one over on Bay Ridge Blazer side of things. Another goal goes away with Bike Boys. That is the danger of a triple commit. You know, whenever it's up there on the field, it's just so hard. You know, you get desperate right now in these times. You need to close that gap, but sometimes you just need to stay, keep playing the simple defense and hope you can find those openings. But right now, Bay Ridge going to find a big opening for themselves. That's a big tee up right there, but no one's there to act on it right now. It's going to go back over to the Bikey Boys. They see an opening of their own. They're going to go for a big save from one of the Bay Ridge Blazers, but they're not going to let up on the defense. Another big clear from the Bay Ridge Blazers. This might be able to turn this one into a big breakaway for themselves, but right now the Bikey Boys is going to flip it right back. We're back to an even standing in the game. Even standing would be quite a ways away. Five, nothing. Bay Ridge Blazers are looking down right now. Still, not impossible, but I would be very, very, very shocked and impressed if they're able to come back from this one. But again, they still have one more game to recover, one more game to figure it out. If I was on the side of Bayridge Blazers right now, I would just spend this game collecting data, see what you can get away with, see what you can't, see what feels good to do against this team, and see what feels difficult, see what, what you're struggling with, and just take all that information into your next game to make your decisions a lot better, a lot cleaner. But as we're heading into the end of this last, or this uh, second game here, with one minute nearly remaining, we're just gonna have to wait and see what kind of information Bayridge Blazers can walk away from this one. Bayridge Blazers still trying to figure out how to play against the Bikey Boys. This is just R&D at this point. They're still going for these goals, trying to find somehow to counter out the Bikey Boys tactics. But the Bikey Boys just play so clean. I mean, look at that disruption right there, taking the control away from the Blazers. It's just so dang annoying to deal with, but that's what you have to do if you want to stay in this. The Blazers just continuing to hammer away at the goal, but the defense from the Bikey Boys is able to keep up with it. I mean, just look at that. They find every single goal shot, and now the Marriage Blazers, 30 seconds to close this gap. This is nearly insurmountable in the air carry from the Bikey Boys. And it's looking to be another clean goal from the triple commit from the Blazers. A triple commit once again leaves you so open to the offensive pressure that the Bucky boys are more than capable of laying out very strong gameplay coming out from this team so far. 22 seconds remaining. 
Bay Ridge Blazers. All they can do is learn as many lessons as they can against this team before they head into their potential final game of their tournament life. 15 seconds on the clock. Mikey Boys looking to set themselves up for another goal, but it's going to get saved out, intercepted by Bay Ridge. If they can get this one, if they can get any goal, it would at least go away to make sure they can feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident heading to the last one, but I don't even see them getting that. I think this is just going to be the end of the game, and game three will be going to be the next game with uh, we're going to see the Bikey Boys take game two. Yeah, they are going to be taking that game to Christ the King Secondary School has a very good team on their hands right here. They sure. have just been so dominant in the series so far. Not to put down the other team there, but they are just not being able to find a way through that defense. Yeah, and more so, they're leaving their defense very open against the attacks of Bikey Boys, which when you see what this team is capable of, it seems a little bit like a death sentence when you're trying to retaliate. But I definitely understand the strategy behind it. In fact, I employ the strategy very much myself in basically any game I play. If I'm not very comfortable with my defense, I just go all out on the offense because that forces your opponent to stop theirs. As we head into this potentially last game, hopefully Bayridge Blazers have been able to fix figure out a strategy that they want to come into with this next game. Otherwise, Bikey Boys continuing their trend of success might be able to steal the series away. Steal the series potentially, but right now Bikey Boys close this one out. Right now it's pretty even across the board. No one able to get that first goal. Just had no kickoff goals, but already the Bikey Boys gearing up for a very quick start with the triple commit. Very dangerous. We've seen that sting the Bay Ridge Blazers before, and now they get a nice setup. One shot on the goal is the price they pay for the triple commit. They're going to go for a nice clean shot, and the Blazers get the first starting goal for their team. Very good. Very well done by Bay Ridge Blazers. This is exactly what they need to get themselves back in the game. They can just complete forget about the last two games well they can make sure they remember the lessons learned from those games but they can just take this last game as a fresh start treat it like a best of one and just play with their all in mind but the bikey points answering back very quickly getting a goal right off the kickoff these teams are completely on fire right now and I don't see them changing up anytime soon no, sir, the Bikey Boys are here to win it all right here. They want to get the 3-0 sweep. We've only seen it one other time here on stream, but I have a feeling we might see it once again for the Bay Ridge Blazers, keeping this very competitive, getting a nice demo, They're trying to delay that goal as much as they can. They're trying to save it out, and wow, what a shot from the Bikey Boys, almost sinking it in right there with the Blazers. Able to clear that goal. It's very tense. The Mikey boy's not letting up, oh, and he no. finds that midair slam, dunking and spiking the ball right into the net. Such a clean shot. Well done indeed. You can see the way the Mikey boys are playing just so coordinated, like a unit off the ceiling there and down towards the net, bouncing off the roof of his teammate. That's how you know these guys are on the same wavelength and they're playing as one. And once again, this is how you differentiate yourselves from other teams at your skill level once you are able to kind of play past just the mechanics of things and been able to coordinate, synchronize, and play as one. That's what's necessary in order to elevate yourself to the next level. Favorite Blazers demonstrating the capacity to do this as well, but Mikey Boy is just so much more consistent with it so far in this series. And when you look at how they're going about it, their defense, their offense, everything is just strategically sound. They're not leaving any gaps, any openings that can be easily exploited by the enemy team. In fact, it's I can barely see any gaps to do anything that the Bayridge Blazers, they're going to have to find something, anything they can do to exploit this team. But the Blakey Boys aren't giving them much room to do so. As you can see, they're forcing the pressure. They're not even allowing them to leave their side of the field. Even just getting a simple clear seems like a fight for life and death. And as a result of that, in fact, wow. Bayridge Blazers were finally able to get it out from their side of the field, and as soon as they did, are able to turn that into a goal. Very well done by Bayridge Blazers, showing they still definitely have signs of life in this series.
The Blazers refuse to go down without a fart fight. <laughs> a little bit of a misspoke. It's a long day. But anyways, <laughs> now we're going to move on here with the Blazers continuing to go through right here. The Bikey Boys keeping this one very competitive as well. It's 2-2. Two to two. Who will break through this stalemate? It's 2 minutes and 30 seconds. We're about halfway through this match. And it could be all it is for the Blazers. They want to keep on going through and now it's back and forth no team taking real dominance just yet and happy cappy playing on the defense keeping this one pretty competitive right now the mikey boys continuing to hammer in on this attack yeah they're just hammering it in they're just putting down so much pressure and with two minutes remaining like i mentioned before it ended up actually resulting in Bayridge blazers getting a goal for themselves but that just goes to show bikey boys are doing such a good job of keeping them stuck on their side of the field that as soon as Bayridge blazers was able to escape they actually did turn into a goal but again Bay Ridge, or sorry bikey boys are just making sure they don't get these opportunities by keeping it stuck on orange side which gives them so many chances to take shots and try to set things up for themselves so looks to see looks to looks to me that they're trying to do the same thing right now and hopefully they can find something an opportunity to get another goal for themselves hopefully there's only a minute 25 remaining left on the clock and now they reach blazers continuing and they want to take this game. I mean, look how quickly they are closing in on Bikey Boys Net. They're giving it all they got. They are putting the pedal to the metal using all the gas they have left. And right now, we're seeing the Bikey Boys struggle on the defense. And now, the Bayridge Blazers have taken the lead two to three. With first, only a minute remaining. First time, I believe, in the series, we're seeing Bayridge leading. I'm sure Bikey Boys has an answer waiting in the reservoir. They probably aren't content with this, but I'm sure the Bay Ridge Blazers are definitely feeling happy with themselves right now. They are coming back from such a huge and uh, dominant deficit coming out from the Bikey Boys in the previous games. But now they have the upper hand. If they can maintain it for just another minute, they will walk away from this game with at least one in the series. But as a shot comes out from the Bikey Boys, just barely misses, and it's going to get saved by Bay Ridge. Another shot's going to be coming out from them, but it's going to get saved out by one of the Bikey Boys, taking it over to the orange side now. Looks like they're setting themselves up for a shot, and it's going to get saved, actually. Bay Ridge Blazers keeping their lead, but another follow-up shot's going to come through. Another save's going to come out, but they're going to send it right back over, return to sender, and this package is not going to get delivered, but it's actually going to get returned right back. Bay Ridge Blazers taking another shot, but Bikey Boys, they don't like it. They don't want to take that without a fight. They're sending it right back over to orange side they're just throwing away defense it doesn't matter it's completely relevant at this point they just need to find another shot but bay ridge blazers are able to definitely cement themselves as taking this game away two to four right now and that's going to most likely be the game going over the Bay Ridge Blazers. Likely, what a comeback from the Bay Ridge Blazers. Bikey Boys seemingly like too low for majority of the game, but the Blazers able to just come back with goal after goal after goal after goal. And now this is going to be it. The Bikey Boys are gonna keep it up in the air. If they can get one more goal in there, they'll have a chance to tie up the score, but no, it gets slammed down by the Blazers. And now they're definitely still in this game. For sure, Bay Ridge Blazers able to take at least one game. You can see it. they're trying to figure things out, strategize. Like I mentioned, those previous two games, while they didn't win it, they are at least able to get a lot of data out of it. And I think right now, that's where we're seeing that data becoming particularly useful. They're talking, discussing, figuring things out, how they want to go about trying to cement their dominance in this series so far. But likewise, on the side of the Bikey Boys, I'm pretty sure they're doing the exact same thing, just trying to figure out how they can come back back and inform from the first two games and just ensure the dominance going into this next one going into game four I feel like now we can truly say it's anybody's game going into this next couple of games um, game four maybe five if we see it it's just a matter of time exactly. we're gonna have to see what happens here we're right out of the gates and right into the thicket already already some goals being threatened by the bikey boys of the blazers throwing a goal of their own this seems like they've discovered that going up high might be the key for them to sink these shots in it's just bouncing between these goals bikey boys 
first shot of the goal. They need to try and defend this one, clear this one out. It seems like the Blazers have just waken, woken up out of nowhere and have awakened some powers of their own. And now the Viking boy is still threatening goal after goal. You can tell these are some top contenders right here in the semifinals. Some amazing Rocket League gameplay on display here. And the hours are closing in on a minute throw. No goals have been taken. This is going to be a long game. You have to go all the way. We're going to see if the Viking boys will be able to sink it right here. It bounces between the folks back and forth. No one taking complete control, but it looks like the Bay Ridge Blazers are going to go for a goal. Looking for it. Whether or not they'll find it is an entirely different question so far. This game is relatively quiet based off of the previous ones we've seen. No goals just yet, but I'm sure that's going to be bound to change anytime soon as Viking Boys looking for a shot, and that's going to be a beautiful follow up from the pass. The line at the center, and that's going to be a clean run through, a shot going straight into the net from Viking Boys, leading 1 0 now against Bay Ridge Blazers in game four. It is 1-0, three minutes and 45 seconds remain. The Bucky boys in the lead, but we've seen it before. The Bayrish Blazers now have that comeback. They know how to even up the scoreline. Look at that, they're already bringing out the max aggression to bring things a very exciting start. Right now, Bucky boys getting the demos, bringing them back, and that's something I want to see from them. That's what got them the victory in the first place. They can play a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more engaging, but the Blazers using a full manipulation of that take the lead or to even up the score once again now anyone can take the lead well done well done indeed we're at 3-2-2 here one to one for both of these teams another kickoff that's going to be another chance for either of these teams to steal away the momentum i feel like right now they both cleaned up their offense to the point where whoever can establish it is likely to get the goal it's just a matter of making sure you can really outplay your opponent to ensure the offense goes your way instead of them. Whoever is going to get the stronger and leading offense is most likely to get the goals. As you can see, Viking Boys taking that kickoff, almost getting a goal right away too. It's going to lead to a demo for one of the Viking Boys, however, playing down without one for a little bit longer. But wow. a nice solo goal coming out, carrying that all the way to the goal and shooting it in himself. Well played. Sometimes you got to make a hero play like that, and that's what we call the hero's journey, and that's going to lead to 2-1 to one over Bay Ridge Blazers. What an absolutely beautiful air carry from the BMX Bikey Boys and themselves in the lead, but the Blazers still very close to closing this gap. Only one point away to bring this to a tie. Bikey Boys really want that insurance goal. They want to try and secure the lead, so they're going to do play very aggressively, but now I think they've realized they cannot ignore their defense any longer as the Blazers have found a very good method of attack. Exactly, and I think that's what's so important to the series right now. First of all, a nice demo could potentially open up some opportunities, but thankfully the Viking boys are able to stall things out just a little bit longer, even able to get the save, I think, off of that respawn too. So, Bay Ridge Blazers trying to figure out a way, an angle of approach, how they want to attack this goal, but they're going to run out of time before they get a chance to do it. The Viking boys aren't able to defuse that situation and get the clear. Now, however, they're returning it back, trying to get something started here and they're able to find it as the Bay Ridge Blazers take the shot they find it right out from underneath the nose of the bikey boys who are now tied up 2-2 wow. two, two, with two minutes remaining in this game four just barely unable to save that last goal it's now all tied up and we're scheduled to go into overtime but it's two minutes remaining that's still a lot of time left on this clock that's a little under half of the time left in the game either team could take this one maybe even even possibly see a game five as the Blazers are blazing their path here to another goal. The Viking boys playing amazing defense. They're going to go for a triple on the offense, but a nice downtown shot for the Blazers. Going to have to be defended out once again. The Blazers keeping this one very, very, very competitive with the BMX Viking boys. But right now, the ball's just bouncing back and forth. BMX unable to find a clear shot on the goal. The Blazers defense is totally locked down right now and I don't know which team will take the first strike but it's looking to be the Viking Boys as take control again but right as I say that the Blazers take it once, once again take it right back the demo comes through for one of the Blazers they have an open goal and they take the lead with a minute remaining very well done by the Blazers they're doing such a good job 
of just figuring out the bikey boys. It's hard to believe this is the same team we saw in the first two games, but they're demonstrating that they, of course, are worthy of being in this semifinals match because obviously otherwise they wouldn't be here. We're now getting to see it displayed in full force. And in fact, that might be another goal, just barely missing it. However, the bikey boys can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that it's going to be a little bit easier for them to potentially tie things up. They just need to get one goal instead of that two that it would have been if that went in, but stuck in the orange corner now, hoping they can get it centered, but uh, the Blazers are able to really attack the ball, get it out, but interception brings it right back in. Nobody's ready to follow up off of that pass, unfortunately. Going to be able to go for another one, but that one's going to get sent right back from the Blazers. 30 seconds remaining. That's the amount of time that the Mikey boys have to try to get another goal if they want to tie things up here, but it's going to be bouncing in the corner from the center, bouncing in the center from the corner rather, and another shot's gonna be let loose from the Blazers' side, and it's gonna be on the bikey boys to retaliate. A demo's gonna come through. That's gonna be a shot, but it's gonna get saved from behind. Another demo. Can you find that shot? No, the last man standing from the Blazers is able to make the save. 2v, or sorry, 1v3 situation in the last three seconds of that match there, and he was able to take it through. Excellently done by the Bay. Ridge Blazers and we now have a game five on our hands. We might even have a reverse sweep on our hands at this point. We are going all the way here, folks. We are going to a game five. For sure, these players are playing so well on the Bay Ridge Blazers side of things. There's Prong, Happy Cappy, Hockey Shark, and Big Grant. Of course, on the Bikey Boy side, you have Jiggle, Carplay, Toilet Paper, and Lull Striker 66. Some interesting names, indeed. I think you even saw Toilet Paper on the yeah. back of his yeah, jersey like, there. That's a, that's <laughs> or is that a sponsorship? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But with this kind of play, I'm seeing sponsorships in his future for sure. So for hopefully, sure. going to this Game 5, both of these teams can enter with a level head and really try to play at 100%. Loser here, out of the tournament, winner advances to the winner's finals. It couldn't get more on the line here. Who is going to be able to come out on top, Matthias, based off of what you're seeing so far? You know, Stumped I here. have faith in the Bay Ridge Blazers, but okay. I don't know if they're going to be able to close it out because there's a thing. You can only stay on top for so long. Mm. You know, you have the momentum, sure, but the momentum eventually runs out. We saw that with the BMX Bikey Boys, so I think the pendulum might swing back in their direction, but it could go either way at this point. It's either the, the Blazers take the momentum for the last few games and continue that dominance, or the Bikey Boys somehow get themselves back into the game. Yeah, I really think that you're, you're kind of getting the right look at things here. The momentum can really shift one way or the other. And if you take the momentum out of the equation, which team comes out on top? If we're looking at it that way, when you're going right into the game, there's no momentum on either side. It was the bikey boys that were able to, you know, lead and start establishing a strong presence. So if we're looking at it from that angle, I do think the bikey boys might be able to come out on top. But of course, it's anybody's game. And the Bay Ridge Blazers have shown us that for sure in those last couple of games. Now we're looking two to two, trying to head into the last game here. A couple of tech issues are going to be delaying us a little bit, but these players are not discouraged. They're not losing focus. They want to make sure that they're ready whenever this game comes to them. Exactly. And right now, I would have to say that on both sides, I would say BMX Bucky Boys almost had a debuff going the last two games. They had that pressure of, will we get the 3-0? Will we get the 1-0? Will mm -hmm. we get the 3-2, the, the to two, right? But uh, now both teams have equal pressure. They're both at that apex point where either of them could possibly win. So I think we're going to see both teams performing at their fullest. And now I don't know who will eventually ultimately win the bikey boys i think had the better all-around team play mm -hmm. in the beginning i think they still have that blazers have that like tactical awareness that they have right. like, really planned around the bikey boys gameplay style in any case we can speculate all that we like but in the next at very least five minutes of gameplay we'll see who's able to come out on top as we're going to see the Bay Ridge blazers already starting with their good defense and taking it into an offensive 
dangerous situation here. Trying to get the shot right off wow. immediately, riding off the wall and off the top, setting themselves up for a goal. Very well played by the Blazers, and I am excited to see what more they have in store going into this game five. Mikey boys, only 15 seconds down. They have more than enough time to tie and potentially surpass the goal that the Bears Blazers have just set for us. Yeah, a lot of time, but now the momentum is in the Blazers' hands. They can manipulate this game how they would like. And they like being in that leading position. We've seen them perform so well from that leader position. Let's see what they do here. Yeah, they're already laying in on the attack. Make sure the Viking boys don't have an opportunity to shoot on the goal. But now, as I say that, it slips between the fingers. And now it's going right back and forth. No one really being able to take true control of the ball just yet. I'm so curious to see the stats on the saves. And, and especially in these corner situations, I wonder who has been able to get them out of the corner so many times. Because I feel like that, especially at this tournament today, I feel like so many, oh my goodness, I think he, the defender there was just a little bit too deep in the net, uh, was basically on the path to get that defense. But again, just maybe a little too deep to get the save. Yeah, unfortunate there. That's going to be another goal going the way of the Bay Ridge Blazers. But but just to finish my thought from before, I feel like a lot of these games from the tournament today have come out to who's able to really recover from the corner and turn that into an opportunity from their teams. And it feels like, especially perfect example, the Bay Ridge Blazers are doing such a great job at that so far. As you can see, right out of the corner, they're able and ready to capitalize. A teammate there to support and try to get a rebound if necessary, but not even necessary as they're able to come right through like a missile and get that goal. A 3-0 lead is absolutely massive, especially when the games get as close as these, this series has been. Okay, now the Bucky boys really hammering in on this offense. They need to tie up and they need to tie it up soon, but they can't go for the triple commit or else they'll leave themselves wide open. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. They need to close this gap and quick. They go for the triple commit anyways, but the save comes out from one of the Blazers, and now it's back in the Blazers' hands. They're going to start to make their blitz attack once again. And just looking at this so far, it is seeming more and more likely that this is going to be that reverse sweet, reverse sweep situation that we were kind of speculating about just a little bit ago. Mikey Boys is trying to get that shot ready, but it's not going to be able to get followed up on. It's going to get saved as well. And Bay Ridge Blazers looking to retaliate now, trying to get that cleared out. And it's in blue side. They just have to set themselves up for success as usual. A pass is going to come through. Double commit to get it cleared out. But a retaliatory uh, save is going to come back to bring it right back over to blue. A shot's going to be made from center field. It's going to get saved by Happy Cappy. And now it's going to be Viking Boys trying to recover from that save. A rebound and pass centered over into the center of the field. But now we're stuck in the corner. Corner play is going to get made, but there's no follow-up. Nobody's ready to take that shot. So it's going to be trivial for the Bay Ridge Blazers to just get that cleared out. And still just missing that clear, actually. The Viking Boys still have a chance to make another one happen. Can they find something? No, Bay Ridge Blazers aren't going to be able to get it out. But shooting it right back. Package denied, riding to the back of the net to try to get things out there, get ready, come out to support the team. But it's going to get cleared over to Orange. Going to ride the wall here, see if we can get out of the corner. But it's going to be another corner fight. It's going to go the way of the Bay Ridge Blazers, however. And in fact, that's going to be another goal wow. for them. Two minutes remaining. They're up 4-0. to oh. It's looking a little scary so far for the Bikey boys. Exactly, and what a comeback from the Blazers. First losing the two games, and I don't want to say a dramatic fashion, but it was not looking good for them. And now they're four owing their opponents three minutes into the game. There's two minutes left on the clock. Mikey boys really need to get themselves back in this, and very quickly. They have about 30 seconds for a goal each, and the first 30 seconds is nearly burned. Bring themselves up for a goal. They're going to swing for it, but the defense from the Blazers is just too strong. And now the ball up here. They see the point to strike, and they shoot for it, almost getting a fifth goal, but it gets saved out by the BMX Mikey boys. They still keep that amazing defense in play but it's just when they have to go for these triple commits that it seems to suffer but they have to they have no other choice and now the attack is on there they go for the triple commit and they get the goal and they're back in the game one minute 20 seconds remaining 
I feel like a broken record, Matthias. Tell me to stop at any point, but this is Rocket League. Anything can happen in that amount of time, especially three goals. So, Blakey boys finally put one on the board. That might be just be what they needed to bring themselves back from the brink of oblivion if they're able to try and recoup their strength, just keep that pressure going. Finding a goal here would be huge for them. It will show them a path of light through the darkness where they can keep maintaining that aggression that I can tell they want to keep pressing forward. Defense is not what they're looking to do right now with this much of a lead. They just want to keep that pressure going. They're going to have to clear it out though. Orange keeps laying on the pressure, but wow. a nice shot's going to come through from the side. They're going to be unable to defend against it. That's going to be another goal going the way of Bravish Blazers. And with just about 50 seconds remaining, this four goal gap is looking more and more daunting by the second. Yeah, that gap is absolutely massive at this point. They need a goal every 10 seconds to try and even up this scoreline. But let's see if they'll be able to get it in time. But no, the Blazers are just continuing to blaze on fourth and continue to get goal after goal after goal. It's going to be a very hard-fought match. Now the Blazers, all they have to do to win is run out this clock, play the defense very intelligently, and they'll be able to take this one in a reverse sweep situation. Situation. Trying to get that shot off the post, but with only 15 seconds remaining to get four goals, I hate to admit, but that seems very, very unlikely to be possible for the Bikey boys. And it seems that Bay Ridge Blazers have got their number, got the better of them, and have figured out their strategy to conquer in this game five situation. The Bay Ridge Blazers are going to come out on top after a successful reverse sweep situation, and you can feel the excitement if not seeing it for yourself on that player's eyes. It's a beautiful sight to see. A beautiful sight indeed. They played amazingly, and both teams played amazingly. BMX Spikey Boys just absolutely dominant in those first two games, but you have to give props to the players. What an amazing showing. They dug deep in the reverse situation. They're down and out, do or die all the way through. And they took it all the way into the end and ended up winning. Absolutely. The Bay Ridge Secondary School, Bay Ridge Blazers have shown us that they are resilient and have indomitable spirits. Complete and utter congratulations to them. And of course, to Christ the King Secondary School's BMX Bikey Boys for putting on an excellent show too. Can't forget the complete dominance they asserted in those first two games. It was looking very bleak. Now that the, the Blazers have won, I don't feel bad in saying it looked <laughs> yeah, completely it was very bad. bleak for them in those first two games, but able to bring it back over the bikey boys and recover it. Very well played from both of these teams, but unfortunately we do now have to say goodbye to the bikey boys. Unfortunately, but you have to give props to the absolute indestructible mental on the Bay Ridge Blazers. They were able to lock in, just figure out what made their en that enemy team tick, what made them work, and they deconstructed their play, and they reconstructed their own gameplay, mm. and they made the perfect weapon to pierce their way to victory. I feel like that's the most important element. Not only did they figure out their opponents, but they figured out what was wrong with their own play and fixed it. Very, very much easier said than done, especially doing such a high pressure situation as here on the Saints stage. But they were able to do it, overcome, and make it look easy, no less. But ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready for our next game, we're going to have to prepare for a nice break as we get through the action. We still have plenty more to come, so don't go anywhere. We'll see you all very soon.